What's up, everybody? I'm Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And today we're talking rumors, RX Vision, RX9. Is it time? Is it coming? Well, we've had a lot of rotary talks here in the last few months, and Mazda's going to keep that rumor mill churning because it seems like there's a lot of good things happening with Mazda here in the next few years. And because of that, they're going to cre uh, keep creating new trademarks, patents, and everything else that leads us to believe there's something coming. So today we're going to jump into the latest news on the future of the RX Coupe, RX Vision, RX9. And we'll have maybe a little bit of a surprise for you about exactly how it's going to be going up and down the road. So, stay tuned. Okay, all of my information today on this Mazda News update is coming from Stuff and their motoring uh, division, Stuff.co in New Zealand. So a lot of information, and really this, they got their information from the Best Car uh, website in Japan. So a lot of people following this in Japan, as you'd expect, with a big manufacturer like Mazda and all the new things coming. Yes, we've been talking about a new crossover for some time, new powertrains, new platforms, and all the while, those things are still coming, but Mazda keeps moving forward with even more innovation, even more new vehicles coming, and it's a great time to be with Mazda or to be a fan and following Mazda with your Mazda passion. So let's dive in here to the latest news of the rotary engine. So it could be that the RX Vision is coming. Now this was first introduced in 2015 with a concept vehicle and they've been toying ever since. Rotary, no rotary, R&D, no R&D on it. Hey, it's spent. Hey, it's coming. Even so much that they've made it part of the MX-30 in a range extender capacity and a smaller rotary than what we have seen in the past and what we would expect for the future. Of course, all the while the history or the death of the last rotary, the RX-8, was really because of poor fuel economy, poor reliability and dependability. So will this new iteration be the one that lasts? Well, one of the things that Mazda has taken with recent patents and recent ideas is changing the fuel system from straight petrol or gasoline to hydrogen. Hydrogen may be that technology of tomorrow or hydrogen fuel specifically in automobiles may be the technology of tomorrow and that means that we have to be talking about it today. So Mazda has decided that if they have a full-scale rotary engine and it's fueled with hydrogen fuel and hydrogen power, then it may be exactly what's needed to meet some of their other contingencies in the following years, specifically their new Zoom Zoom 2030. So we could see another RX, maybe an RX9, maybe an RX, who knows what they'll call it, being fueled with not just hydrogen power, but also a little bit of electricity. So stuff.co again has shared, and back in, uh, this was first brought up on Thursday of this release from that best car website in Japan, that uh, the new RX-9 could be coming with hydrogen power. However, rewind back in the week to the 10th of August, 
and several other channels on YouTube have already shared some of the new patents released that leads us to believe that yes, there is a coupe rear wheel drive with a combustion engine in the future. And let's take a look at this for just a second because the patents or the designs are fairly interesting as we look at what was released. And as you see here, it is the rear end and you expect with that little rear quarter window that it looks very similar to the RX Vision. Of course, we can't tell how wide the uh, rear fenders are there like the RX uh, concept, but we can see down uh, at the bottom there with that cutout that it will be a combustion engine that would have some form of exhaust. So when you look at this uh, design, it is a rear wheel drive vehicle. And it is, of course, obviously a coupe and obviously styled similar to a new RX vehicle. Now, along with this patent as translated by Google Translate, uh, the Japanese, it reads the present invention is intended to provide a rear body structure of a vehicle that can ensure the support rigidity of the rear suspension and the effectively tra and effectively transmit the rear thrust load from the rear side housing rigid member to the coupling body between the side sill and the pillar. That's a lot of English jargon that talks about basically a rear suspension that can withstand the extra rear thrust load. So we will be seeing a rear wheel drive vehicle, possibly. Just because there's a patent doesn't mean that they will follow through with a design. However, this is following other ideas, other patents that were introduced just last year. So in April 17th of 2020, a previously filed patent shows more information of what could be the RX vehicle. What it shows is a front, uh, front axle with a rotary style engine and a trick capacitor based hybrid system. Now let's just stop for a minute before we jump into more of this diagram and, and, and other diagrams to follow other patents and say that everything moving forward for the next nine years, Mazda's focused on more electrification. We talked about that in their Zoom Zoom uh, technology that was released a few months ago. So last year they were still working on this uh, idea and this is their patent for a trick capacitor based hybrid system. So in this diagram, not only do you see a rotary uh, engine or rotary styled engine, you also see, and this other diagram shows, electric motors inside of each wheel. Now, why would you need a rotary powered vehicle and electric, ro uh, electric motors in the wheels? Well, as it is described here and translated, that when a large output is required in the high vehicle speed range. So in the event that you need more power than the engine can provide, you have two motors up front for supplement power in the front wheels, which means that this would be a rear wheel drive vehicle. And we have new rear wheel drive platforms coming out very soon. So a rear wheel drive vehicle with a rotary style engine and electric motors could be extra power in a all wheel drive uh, capacity. So rear wheel power, combustion, and a hybrid up front. See how these things are tying in together? It's pretty amazing. And the time and future will tell what's coming. So 
Uh, the other interesting uh, feature of this patent is that Mazda said that this system can work with rotary, inline, and V-shaped engines. So we know that with the new powertrains and new platforms coming out, specifically an inline six, that there was going to be electrification and the new inline six was going to be on a rear wheel drive platform with all wheel drive capability. Maybe first seen in the crossovers, the new CX-5, CX-50, whatever they may be, and later on in the CX-90, but also in maybe the 2023 we're returning Mazda 6. So rear wheel drive, inline six, with potential of hybrid technology or electrification. And that's what these patents are leaning towards. So all this information is saying that, hey, Mazda's still working on a new sports car. Mazda's still working on an RX-9. Whatever they did, maybe a RX-90. How about that? So as they're following suit, I think they, I prob they probably won't go with a RX-80. They'll probably just move on from the RX-8 altogether. However, with these diagrams and these new patents, specifically the one that was uh, released this week, and then new information about hydrogen power, hydrogen powered RX-9. Uh, well, who else is doing something with hydrogen right now? Could it be Toyota? So Mazda's partnership with Toyota, Toyota's already been uh, spending the money, the R&D money, and actually has the Mirai, which is a hydrogen powered vehicle, and oh, by the way, just last month, Toyota, two months ago, Toyota released a new iteration of a hydrogen combustion engine. But wait, before we jump into Toyota's hydrogen technology, do you remember back in 2003, this vehicle? In 2003, there was, in fact, a rotary-powered hydrogen fueled vehicle it did have a uh backup tank of gasoline however this was hydrogen powered and provided or leased in 2006 uh in norway to prove the concept could work now a new member of the mazda passion club stig johansson stig has two fully electric MX-30s. And in Norway, it is more economical to avoid extra fees and extra penalties and extra combustion engine fees that they have to drive electric vehicles. Several years ago, Stig says it was all about hybrid vehicles, but now it's all about EVs. And Mazda MX-30 full EVs is available in Norway and in Europe. So Mazda has done some testing with hydrogen in Norway because Norway is really a hot spot for new, economical, eco-friendly vehicles. And now we see just two months ago, Toyota released a Corolla hatch in a 24-hour endurance uh, test at the Fiji Speedway that was a hydrogen combustion engine. And here's a video of how it sounds. <laughs> sounds pretty good. And so how was this designed? How did Toyota design theirs? Of course, we don't have a lot of this same technology available in the RX-8 RE that was in Norway in 2006 or leased for that uh, three-year period. However, Toyota has taken the 1.6 liter from their GR Yaris and combined it with uh, several parts from the Mirai 
and it had a modified fuel delivery system, new spark plugs, and of course, still had oil for lubrication. And it sounds very good, as you heard. And it did very well. Of course, during the 24 hours, it spent about half the time in the shop getting new hydrogen, re-tinkering uh, a few things. But President Akio Toyota said that he was very happy with how it performed overall to finish the race without major issues. So could it be that Mazda and Toyota are joining again in a hydrogen powered vehicle? Could be. Could it be that perhaps Mazda is going to partner more with some of the shared technology for hydrogen and hybrid technology? Yes, I believe so. So what does this mean? It means that potentially with the patents now and the state of uh, Mazda's uh, engineering and design, it could be that we have a functional vehicle in three years. It could be. We could have an RX-90 after all. So again, this Mazda news update is talking about the things that may be coming and I'm excited about a new RX-9, RX-90. In whatever form, hydrogen, hybrid, whatever the case may be, bring it back, Mazda. Uh, I think that wraps up everything that I have. I know a lot of it's speculation. And again, remember, just because there's patents doesn't mean that there will be production. However, everything's starting to line up. I don't think this is a conspiracy. So, thank you for joining me on this Mazda News update. Stay tuned next week as we have more information on the new CX-5, CX-50. Speculation on the new CX-5, CX-50. And we'll see if we can get a conversation going. Drop any comments down below that you have on the new RX-9, RX-90, hydrogen, hybrid, electric, gasoline, combustion, whatever it may be, and if you have any other questions on anything else Mazda. Thank you for joining me, and you know I will see you on the next one.